Fox News hosts highlight that First Lady Jill Biden is campaigning solo across the southern U.S. While President Joe Biden remains without any scheduled public events. Uh, Joe Biden isn't doing anything today, but the First Lady is the first stop on her southern campaign blitz. She's making remarks in Florida and Georgia today. Three stops, three states for her. Zero public events scheduled today during arguably the most crucial week of Joe Biden's political career, although he did call into MSNBC this morning and, and sent out a letter to the Democrats. But can they stave off all of these Democrats standing up and saying no more, even if they're doing it in privately, the chorus is growing and it's loud. I think we're going to have to wait to see. I, I, I do think what's very interesting is that the president did call into Morning Joe earlier this morning. I do think you'll likely see more. Inter- this scenario paints a picture of Joe Biden's potential weaknesses in his campaign, suggesting an inability to lead effectively. Jill Biden's prominent role might be seen as a compensatory move to cover her husband's perceived shortcomings. With Joe Biden's age and health under scrutiny, the public perceives this as a visual critique of his fitness to serve as president. It raises transparency issues, questioning whether the First Lady's active involvement indicates she is managing the president's activities and decisions from behind the scenes. This perception of Jill Biden acting as a de facto candidate creates a sense of responsibility and concern over who truly steers the administration's decisions and policies. Her campaign rallies and speeches, focusing on attacking Donald Trump and defending her husband's record, are interpreted by the public as emotional appeals rather than addressing critical issues like the economy or national security. By centering on military families and veterans, her efforts appear to counter criticism of the administration's handling of military matters, especially the controversial withdrawal from Afghanistan, a significant point of public debate. 